Hello there, and welcome to another video on Advanced Apple Music, a series where I'm going to be showing you how to get the most out of this amazing music subscription service. Today is going to be a super quick video that expands on my intro to sections. I'm going to show you how to essentially build folders in your library. The beauty of this is that you can keep anything in these folders, um, albums, playlists, song mixes, you name it. Take a look at my homepage here, you'll see that I have a number of sections set up. Uh, now I go a little bit in depth into what those sections are in another video of mine, but when I was going through that, you may have noticed that there's a couple sections that don't quite look like your standard albums or playlists. And my first section here, the song mixes section, is actually gonna be one of those that um, is exactly what I'm talking about. This section is actually another home, a home within a home, if you will. What this allows you to do is to have a group of sections under one heading and have super quick access to them. You can see that I can tap on any of these and it uh, pulls up just like a playlist, letting me play the songs in there. Um, I also have the same options um, here for adding to the end or beginning of my queue, adding to another playlist, things like that. I can also click on the heading itself right up here on the top, and that pulls me to what essentially looks like the main home screen, except that these are just a number of different song mixes that I've built and grouped together. So this is really helpful if you're like me and you have a lot of these playlist type song mixes and you don't want them taking up a ton of space just all over your main home screen right here. All right, to make one of these home screens, it's gonna be just like making any other section. You're gonna head all the way down to the bottom of the screen. And you're gonna click on add. And then up here at the top is what you're going to click on. You're going to click on New Home. And so this is going to pull up just a generic new home screen right here. So let's open this up and take a look. And yep, you can see it's just basically a blank canvas, just like your original home screen would be. So I'm going to add a couple quick sections just to demonstrate what it'll look like as you get this built out. Um, and to show you a little bit different from, from my other one, you don't necessarily just have to have song mixes. You could have a number of different things like a mix of albums and songs. Um, so let's add a section for albums and playlists. I'm not going to be doing any filters or anything, but feel free to check out some of my other videos to see what kind of things I have set up for that. So we're going to click here on add again, and we're going to choose library, and we will choose albums. Um, let's add another one here. If we click on add, maybe we'll add one of these recommended kind of pre-built sections. So let's click on top rated, and we'll just do album. Um, and then let's say we'll click on add one more, and then maybe most played. And we'll just see artists and see how that plays out. And yep, that looks about right, right there. So um, that is how you can kind of just add a number of different sections. If you bounce out back here, you can see how these all show up as little additional lists down here. Well, I'm using a few of these, and I feel like it's really something where I could continue to build out more um, for my music library. But as I mentioned before, I have one for song mixes up here. And then if I'm scrolling down, um, I have one right here that's for different aspects relating to working out. And I mentioned this on one of my previous videos, but up here at the top is a section of playlists. And then I have a number of sections down here that are um, time restricted sections pulling from different playlists. Uh, maximum of 10 minutes and I use these to create a flow for uh, working out through yoga and then I have a number of playlists down here as well so kind of a mix between playlists and songs um, this one is a new one that I've created so I mentioned before you can have a um, genres section you don't need to do a, a home within a home uh, for that but I've created one because I like to combine a couple genres which actually kind of makes me wonder why I even need to separate them in the first place but um, these are pretty much my 10 most listened to genres right here and so if you click on there you can see that I actually have another home within this home so this home is called genres and then I have each genre itself has its own home all of which are pretty much the same so if i click on alternative and indie here um, i've got it set up to have the last 50 songs that i've added out of those genres that i i have combined i've got a bunch of shuffled love songs um, i have my alt radio station and i'm going to go in depth on this one because it's a little bit complicated but pulls in a few songs from apple music playlists as well as a number of different mixes um, from my own stuff 
got my top rated albums, uh, most played songs more just out of curiosity than anything. And honestly, most of these are from way back in like 2010. Um, that's when I really would just hammer certain songs hard, like make yourself, uh, ratings, um, top, top rated artists. And then I have um, just downloaded songs. So for each one of my genres, I have that pretty much set up just like that. Um, And I found it to be really effective to kind of match my mood for different things. And please don't judge me that Limp Bizkit is the top rated heavy artist I have. I only have 10 songs and they're all from back in the day and they make me really happy. (laughs) So it's not a true representation of how I feel about them. So that is a little bit on how to create sections within a section, just another piece of organization. Um, In my next video, I'm actually going to start breaking down how to start fusing songs together from different sources, whether it's in your library or from Apple Music playlists that you've added. Um, So I'm going to dive into some basic song mixes in my next video. So stay tuned for that, and thank you so much.